Hi friends, welcome back to Lord's Public School Online Classes. First of all, I wish you all the best for your new academic year. Study well and be the change you want to see. My dear students, it is time for us to start our textbook. We have already started our textbook. I taught you a poem last class. What is the name of the poem? Fire and Ice written by Robert Frost. We completed the poem and I asked you to write the summary of the poem, appreciation of the poem. I asked you to prepare the notes of the poem. I hope you prepared the notes. Okay, keep it with you. I will not teach these lessons in the class. I will check it later. I will check your not notes when the school is re reopened. So wait till I, till we meet each other. Okay, my dear students, today we are going to start a new chapter. Last class we learned a poem. This class we are going to learn a prose chapter. Named his first flight. You like to hear stories, I know. So this is a beautiful story, written by Liam of Flaherty. Have you heard Liam of Flaherty? I don't think so, because Liam of Flaherty was an Irish writer. Not a familiar face to you, but he was a world famous writer. He was a Nobel laureate. He received a Nobel Prize for literature. This story is a beautiful one written by Liam of Flaherty. Actually, this is a story of birds, seagulls. This story explains the first flight, how a seagull made his first flight. This is a story of birds. The main characters are birds, seagulls, father, mother, Two brothers and one sister and our main character, the young seagull. Okay. So this story enhances the importance of parenthood. How parents help the child to face the challenges of life. That is the theme of this story. Actually, this is a very simple story, but the message is very, very great. So I hope you will enjoy this story. Let me read this story for you. I told you Liam of Flaherty. That is the name of the author. Not the poet, the author. He was a Nobel laureate. Okay, my dear students, let me read this story for you. The young seagull was alone on his ledge. His two brothers and his sister had already flown away the day before. He had been afraid to fly with them. Somehow, when he had taken a little run forward to the brink of the ledge and attempted to flap his wings, he became afraid. The great expanse of the sea stretched down beneath and it was such a long way down, miles down. He felt certain that his wings would never support him. So he bent his head and ran away back to the little hole under the ledge where he slept at night. Even when each of his brothers and his little sister, whose wings were far shorter than his own, ran to the brink, flapped their wings and flew away. He failed to muster up courage to take that plunge, which appeared to him so desperate. His father and mother had come around, calling to him shrilly, up upbraiding him threatening him to starve on the ledge unless he flew away. But for the life of him, he could not move. When the story begins, we can see that a ledge where the young seagull was hatched. Have you heard a ledge? In Malayalam, it is called a munamb, in the midst of the sea. So there, the three seagulls were hatched. So, when the story begins, we can say we can see the young seagull, he is afraid to make his first flight. His father, his mother, and brother, two brothers and one sister already flew away. They made their courage, they, they mustered their courage and they flew away. They were ready to take the risk. Who? Two brothers and one sister. But he is not ready. He was not ready to take the risk. What is the reason? Because he is afraid to fly. He is afraid of death. Because the great 
the, the, the great expanse of the sea beneath him. The great expanse of the sea beneath him compelled him to stay there. That's why he didn't fly away. So he couldn't muster the courage. And they called him. How the parents encouraged him to make, make his first flight. They were waiting on another ledge. They were calling him silly. They were threatened to give him star on the ledge. Because he didn't eat anything for the last 24 hours. That's why they threatened him to star on the ledge. But for the life of him, he couldn't move. When the story begins, we can see that a ledge and two brothers and one sister flew away the day before. Actually, when compared to them, he is more stronger. He is stronger. This seagull is stronger because his wings were very strong, very stronger compared to that one. But he didn't he didn't have the courage to make his first flight. Everyone called him. They called him silly. They praised him. They discouraged him. They encouraged him. They threatened him to starve on the ledge. But for the life of him, he could not move. That is all about the first paragraph. The second paragraph, that was 24 hours ago. Since then, nobody had come near him 24 hours ago. He hadn't eaten anything the last 24 hours, the day before, all day long. He had watched what he had watched, his parents, his parents flying about his sisters, brother, his brothers and sister, perfecting them in the art of flight, teaching them how to skim the waves and how to dive for fish. You know, they are seagulls. Her parents, his parents, he had been watching her parents uh, helping them, her, his, uh, his brothers and uh, one sister, to make their flights. How to, the, they are teaching the different methods of flying and how to dive the fish, how to skim, how to swim, they taught them. In fact, seeing his older brother catch his first hurry and devour it. Standing on a rock, he saw what he saw. His elder brother, he made his first flight and also he caught his first prey. That was a herring. Herring means an edible fish. He caught, he uh, understood how to catch a fish. Then everyone congratulated him. Standing on a rock, while his parents circled around praising a proud cattle because they were congratulating his brother, and all the morning, the whole family had walked about on the big plateau midway down the opposite cliff, taunting him with his cowardice. And everyone uh, uh, laughed at him because of his cowardice. Okay? The sun was now ascending the sky. It was sunrise. Blazing on his legs that faced the south. It was very hot in the legs. He hadn't eaten anything for the last 24 hours. He felt that the heat because he had not eaten since the previous night fun. Now he felt the heat very warm. Why? Because he had not eaten anything for the last 24 hours. He stepped slowly out to the brink of the ledge and standing on the leg with the other hidden under his wing. Actually he was pretending to be asleep. Why? He wanted to catch the attraction of his parents and his brothers and sister. Okay, because he wants to reach them. He, want, he wants food. He closed one eye. That was his pretension. Then the other. Then what happened? And they pretend to be falling asleep. Still they took no notice of him. But they didn't notice him. They took no notice of him. He saw his two brothers and his sister lying on the plateau, dosing with their heads, sang into their necks. That time he saw his two brothers and one sister, they were sleeping together. They were preening their uh, wings, you know, preening their feathers like uh, every birds. His father was preening the feathers on his white back. Only his mother was looking at him. Why the mother looked at him? Because you know, motherly affection, that, that line shows the motherly affection. Because only mother, only mother can understand the 
emotions of a child or the feeling of a child that is why mother looked at him she was standing on a little high hump on the plate too for his white, her white breast thrust forward look at the sentence her white breast thrust forward that shows the motherly affection she she got fond of her son but she wanted to make him first place that is why she is neglecting him now what again she tore a piece of fish that lay at her feet and then scraped each side of the beak on the rock she was scratching her beak on the rock for what purpose for what for what he, he she was she was scratching her beak and she wants to eat a herring that was under his feet herring means an edible fish the sight of the food mad and him when he saw the sight when he saw the food he was mad and why he was mad and that was mad and him why because he had not eaten anything for the last year 24 hours how he loved to tear food that way scraping his beak now and again to wet it wet means devour it wet means devour it you understand what i am saying kadalinde nadukku oru munambile rendu kiligalu kadal pakshigale kadalilum vellathilum oru pole jeevikkan kadiyunna sorry kadalilum kareyilum aagashathu oru pole jeevikkan kadiyunna pakshigale kondu poi adavachad evada kadalinde nadukkulla oru valiya munambile ആ മുനമ്പിൽ ഒരു ഹോളിൽ ആടെ വെച്ചത് വിരിഞ്ഞ് പുറത്തിറങ്ങി ചെറുത് വിരിഞ്ഞ് കഴിഞ്ഞു അതുവരെ ഫീഡ് ചെയ്തു അമ്മമാര് അച്ഛന്മാരും മക്കളെ പോറ്റുന്നത് പോലെ സത്യം പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഈ ഈ ഈ കഥ സിംബോളിസം സിംബോളിക്ക നമ്മുടെ തന്നെ ജീവിതം പറയുന്നത് അച്ഛനമ്മമാർ എങ്ങനെയാണ് മക്കളെ വളർത്തേണ്ടതെന്ന് പറയുക കുറച്ച് കഴിയുമ്പോൾ പക്ഷികളെ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കണം കുറച്ച് കഴിയുമ്പോൾ പറക്കാറായി കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ പറ പറന്നുപോയി ആഹാരം തേടാൻ പറയും പക്ഷേ അവന്റെ രണ്ട് സഹോദരങ്ങളും അവന്റെ സിസ്റ്ററും പറന്നുപോകും ഇവർ അവനെ വിളിച്ചിട്ട് ഇവൻ വന്നില്ല കാരണം ഇവന് പേടിയാ താഴെ കടല ഇവന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടില്ല നമ്മളെല്ലാരും ഇങ്ങനെ നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഒരു അടി വെക്കാൻ നമുക്ക് പേടിയാ പക്ഷെ വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവും ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി സിമ്പിൾ നമുക്ക് വി ക്യാൻ ചലഞ്ച് ദ വേൾഡ് ബി ദ ചേഞ്ച് യു വാണ്ട് സി ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞില്ലയോ അതാ ഇവിടെ പറയുന്നത് ഇവൻ രണ്ട് ഇരുപത്തിനാല് മണിക്കൂറായി ആഹാരം കഴിച്ചിട്ട് ആഹാരം കഴിച്ചിട്ട് എത്ര മണിക്കൂറായി ഇരുപത്തിനാല് മണിക്കൂറായി ചൂടടിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അവന്റെ സഹോദരങ്ങൾ പറന്നു പോയെന്ന് കാണിക്കുന്നേ ഉള്ളു അവർ അടുത്ത മലയുടെ മുകളിൽ പോയിരിക്കും അടുത്ത മുനമ്പിൽ പോയിരിക്കും അപ്പൊ വരുന്ന കാര്യം കാരണം ഇവനെ കൂട്ടാൻ അവർക്ക് പോകാൻ കഴിയില്ല എന്തിനാണ് പിന്നെ അവർ എങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ കാണിക്കുന്നത് ഇവനെ അവർ കളിയാക്കി പേടിപ്പിച്ചു അവന്റെ കവേഡേഴ്സ് അവന്റെ ഭീരുത്വത്തെ കളിയാക്കി നീ അവിടെ കിടന്ന് പട്ടിണി കിടന്ന് ചത്തു പോകുമെടാ എന്ന് വരെ പറഞ്ഞു പക്ഷെ ഇവൻ മൂവ് ചെയ്തില്ല കാരണം ഈ നാളം കെട്ട് അവൻ മൂവ് ചെയ്തില്ല എന്തുകൊണ്ട് ഈസ് അഫ്രൈഡ് ടു മേക്ക് ഹിസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്ലേ കാരണം അവന് താഴോട്ട് ചാടാൻ പേടിയാണ് he had a doubt about whether his wings would support him or not that was his doubt sondam cherugal enne support cheyi poyulla pedi ee pedi namukku ellam undu that's why liamo liamo flaherty parayunnathu pakshigalude kadha aanengilum idu logathilulla ella manushyarudeyum kadha aanu pratheechu vidyarthigaludeyum parents inde kadha neeku manasilavunnundo so avan adutha munambil poi irikkan ivan velunnadum kaattu ivan avare ആ സഹതാപം പിടിച്ചു പറ്റാൻ വേണ്ടി ഒറ്റക്കാലിൽ നിൽക്കുന്നു കണ്ണടച്ച് മറിഞ്ഞു വീഴുന്നത് പോലെ കാണിക്കുന്നു ആരും അവനെ മൈൻഡ് ചെയ്തില്ല ഒള്ളി ഹിസ് മദർ അവന്റെ അമ്മ മാത്രം മൈൻഡ് ചെയ്യും എന്തുകൊണ്ട് അമ്മയ്ക്ക് സഹിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി അവന് ആഹാരം കഴിച്ചിട്ട് ഇരുപത്തിയാല് മണിക്കൂർ അപ്പോഴാണ് അമ്മ ഒരു വലിയ മീൻ കഷ്ണം ഇങ്ങനെ കടിച്ചു മുറിക്കുകയാണ് ഇവന് ഭ്രാന്ത് പിടിച്ചു ദ സൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഫുഡ് മാഡ് ആൻഡ് ഹിം ഹി വാസ് മാഡ് ആൻഡ് ബൈ ദ സൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഫുഡ് ലെറ്റ് മീ കണ്ടിന്യൂ ദ സ്റ്റോറി യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് ദ മീനിങ് ga 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 he cried he cried begging to bring uh, him some food god ho oh, he screamed back diversely derisively but he kept calling pain deeply uh, he was actually the pathetic sight of the bird he was requesting his mother to give him food but his mother didn't notice him and after a minute or so he uttered a joyful scream finally he uttered a joyful scream why because he saw something his mother was flying across him towards him his mother had picked up a piece of fish on his on her legs uh, was flying across to him with it he leaned out eagerly tapping the rock with his feet trying to get nearer to her as she flew across but when she was just opposite to him she halted her wings motionless she was flying with a piece of fish in her legs but he was happy because his mother was flying with the, with the him food with the food so he was happy but what happened his mother was coming near to him but there was a slip between the cup and the lip 
His mother just closed him and she stopped in the air. Then he wondered why his mother didn't come too near. Why she didn't give the fish. Then a monster star actually, actually it was a strategy of his mother to make him his first flight. His mother when she tried it to jump, her mother flew back, flew high. Then what happened? Maddened with the hunger. Maddened with the hunger. He jumped. He jumped to the sky, to the air. The next moment he felt his wings spread outwards. He, he saw. That was one minute wonder. Then his, he realized that his wings, his wings opened. He flapped his wings once. Then he made a fly. The next moment he felt his wings spread outwards. The wind rushed against his breast feathers. The wind rushed against his breast feathers. Then under his stomach and against his wings, he could feel the tips of his wings cutting through the air. The tip of his wings cutting through the air. He knows how to fly because in Malayalam there is a saying, Annane Marangetam Padipikenda. Annane Marangetam Padipikenda. Oro Jivayalangal Korinja adaptation. Pakshigalai Parakani Padipikenda Ayu Lavari Parano Padichudu. So, he was afraid to make his first flight, but he flew. He, uh, he could feel the tips of his wings cutting through the air. He was not falling headlong down. He was soaring gradually higher, higher, downstairs and out, outwards. He was no longer afraid. He just felt a bit dizzy. Then he flapped his wings once he, and he soared towards his brothers and his sister. And his father was encouraging him to make a his first flight. Then he swooped past him, her wings making a loud noise. He answered her with another scream. That was an ecstasy moment for him. That was an adventurous moment for him. He was enjoying the adventurous moment. He answered her with a, a scream. He saw his brothers and two sisters flying around him. They flew beneath, before him. His father flew over him and screaming. He saw his two brothers and his sister flying around him, coveting, banging and soaring and diving. Then he completely forgot that he did not have always a fly. Then he commanded himself to dive and soar and curve, shrieking shrilly. Everyone was happy because he made his first flight. He was afraid to fly, but now he made his first flight. Because what made him his first flight? His mother's strategic movement exploited his hunger made his first flight. He was near the sea now. Now he was downwards. He was flying downwards and near the sea. Straight over it. Facing straight over the ocean. He saw a vast sea beneath him. The little ridges moving over it and turned his beak sideways and curled amusedly. His parents and his brothers and sisters had handed on this green flooring against him. Where green flooring? That means, I told you, our seagull is in the bakshigal ke. Adashatum, Velatil, and Indi only it, a rare pretty carol. The Vella and the Postman. But she even a Postman, why? Because it was his first flight. And Adiva Adi the experience. On Adasha Pedi and not Pedi Papui, in a Kadal and a Pedi Marl. On Kadal Lake Quiru, the Kumansa and Yamar. Mansilla community went on the Malayati Paria. Even the Amma, even a Satyam Raja, the Thunder of my movement would a Paraka Pedi Pigu. Even if fish were not the fish, I'll be sure to paran even at the table. Even in the idea, when Adatta Rapa may and Alash Nimu, but just by Chilan Nimu. Even another mere Chenda never had a total at Nerichu, Ponoki Poy Bell to Parakabun, very Piandu Richu. Even a fashion of Bell, even a la Kari Marvin, never had a Nikil and Allah, or three weird Tilly, Kadal and the Nadikan and Nikil and the Marvin to the Chartan Jan. Chadikan and Japan, I put on Charan or Tippy. When Taro to be continued. Elder Sandosh Vetaranam, even no Sambitilla. Why? Because I want a charity shakti of Dark Kalari. A poor Charavan Nadichu, when Melo to appointments like how to make his how to make his first flight. When a Melo to wipe with the government, brothers, sister, or natural love of Parno, and even encourage him. When I was to dive here and embark on the ring, Taro to boom for a love of Charavich, when he made his first flight. And I asked the Kutula of Fire Marie, in the middle of Fire Marande, Green Sea, Kadal in the Pedimana, Kadal Viran, Vina Levin Manslav, the Kadal Trevon. So, we are afraid to make our first flight. We are afraid to make our first flight. We are afraid to make our first flight. We 
നമ്മൾ അഫ്രൈഡ് ടു മേക്ക് അവർ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫ്ലൈറ്റ് ഞാൻ ഇതിന് ശരിയാവുമോ എന്നെ ഇതിന് കൊള്ളാവോ സ്റ്റേജിലോട്ടൊരു പാട്ട് പാടാൻ വിളിക്കുമ്പം രണ്ടു വാക്ക് സംസാരിക്കാൻ വിളിക്കുമ്പം നമുക്ക് ഭയവാ പറന്നു നോക്കാതെ പറയാൻ പറ്റുമോ നമ്മുടെ ചെറുകിന് ശക്തിയില്ലെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു നോക്കണം പറക്കാതിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരിക്കലും ചെറുകൊരിക്കലും ഉപയോഗിക്കാതിരിക്കുന്ന പക്ഷിയെപ്പോലെ നമ്മൾ ആവാൻ പാടില്ല ചെറുകുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു അബ്ദുൽ കലാം അബ്ദുൽ കലാം സെറ്റ് ഐ ഹാവ് വിങ്സ് ഐ ആർ നോട്ട് മെൻ ഫോർ ക്രൗളിംഗ് ഐ വിൽ ഫ്ലൈ ഐ വിൽ ഫ്ലൈ ഐ വിൽ ഫ്ലൈ ചെറുവായിട്ട് ഇവിടെ കിടന്ന് എഴയരുത് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് മെസ്സേജ് ഓഫ് ദി സ്റ്റോറി ക്രിസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആൻസർ കാണാതെ പഠിക്കുന്നതിനപ്പുറം യു ഹാവ് ഇറ്റ് ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദ മീനിങ് ഓഫ് ദ മെസ്സേജ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എൻ ഇൻസ്പിറേഷൻ ഫോർ ജനറേഷൻസ് ഓക്കെ മൈ ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് സോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ ഹി വാസ് നിയർ ദ സീ നൗ ഫ്ലൈങ് സ്ട്രൈറ്റ് ഓവർ ഇറ്റ് facing straight over the ocean he saw a vast green sea beneath him with a little ridges moving over it and he turned his big sideways and called adutha thi pa onnu pedichu his parents and his brothers and sister had landed on this green floor in ahead of him they were beckoning to him calling him shrilly he dropped his legs to stand on the green sea he tried it to stand because he didn't know what it was water he has tried it to sit there his legs sank into it He screamed with the fight and attempt to rise again flapping his wings but he was tired what happened he sank with the hunger he hit he could not rise he could not rise because he was uh, tired with the experience his first flight and also he was hunger exhausted by strange exercise exhausted means tired he sweet sank into the green sea and then his belly touched it and he sank no further he was floating on it and around him his family was screaming praising him and their beaks were offering him scraps of dog fish dog fish is an edible fish they called him back he was uh, singing now they called him come i will give you a dog fish means they offered him a dog fish to fly actually he had made his first flight he made his first flight over then he was a fly now he was a bird now we have wings we will fly ഓക്കെ മൈഡിയ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് കടലിൽ വീണ് കിടക്കുക അവൻ എഴുന്നേക്കാൻ വയ്യ അപ്പൊ അവർക്ക് അറിയാം അവൻ എഴുന്നേക്കാൻ പറ്റുമോ ശ്രമിച്ചാൽ മതി അതിനെ അവർ ഓഫർ ചെയ്തു വാട്ട് ദേ ഓഫ് എഡ് ഡോഗ് ഫിഷ് എഡിബിൾ ഫിഷ് കഴിക്കാൻ യോഗ്യമായ ഭക്ഷ്യ ഒരു ഹെറി ഓഫ് എഡ് ഹി മേഡ് ഹിസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫ്ലൈറ്റ് ദി സ്റ്റോറി എൻഹാൻസസ് ദി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ പേരൻസ് ഹൗ ഹൗ ദ പേരൻസ് മോൾഡ് ദ ക്യാരക്ടർ ഓർ ദ ഹൗ ദേ ഹെൽപ്പ് ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ടു ഫേസ് ദ ചലഞ്ചസ് ഓഫ് ലൈഫ് they have it to face the challenges of life they have it to live alone in this world but that is what the parents uh, taught their teach their uh, children okay my dear children so this is a very interesting story i told you the summary both in malayalam and in english why i said in malayalam because i know you don't have the textbook you have not received the textbook yet this is your textbook this one is your textbook first textbook is first flight one another textbook is there i think memories or not okay this one is your textbook i have taken two chapters first one his first flight and another one a poem fire and ice fire and ice actually this is a simple poem when you get the textbook you have to read it and about the poet leah of flaherty i told you an irish not poet irish writer irish author okay he was a nobel laureate my dear students you understood the meaning and the summary of the story you have it to write an appreciation or a review not an appreciation and a review of the story that is your homework question answers we can write i will uh, give you in the, in the class in the classrooms and now you have it to write the uh, review of the story you know how to write the review of the story first of all you have it to write three more sentences three sentences about the author liam of flaherty irish writer Yeah, he received the nobel prize for literature then this is a story about the birds seagulls the importance of this story theme how to face the challenges of life help the how parents help the uh, children to face the challenges of life then summary the young seagull was alone on his ledge you can write the summary summary then final paragraph you can write the how he made his first flight then the inner meaning or the symbolic significance of birds here actually birds are human beings here this is a story of human beings okay my dear children i hope you understood the class so we have limitations because when we are uh, reading or when we are studying learning a story 
when it is in the classroom it is okay but when it is in the, through online when it is through online it has a lot of limitations i hope we can overcome the limitations in the classroom and hope for the best wait my dear children let me leave now i am winding up this class before leaving i remind you about the homework so wait till i come with new video classes we have completed two portions thank you my dear children bye from rinjit